Hi Bright Stars! Happy Thursday! Um, so I want to go over the reading comprehension questions with you from yesterday um, and then we're gonna read a little bit more of Leo the Lop today. Okay, so the first question I asked yesterday was a factual question directly from the text. I said, what are the two things that all the rabbits in the story had in common? So that was written on our very first page. What it said was that every single rabbit had a little pink nose and a fluffy white tail, even including Leo the Lop. So those were two things that every rabbit had in common or that was the same on them. Second question, why did the other rabbits laugh at Leo whenever he walked by? So some of this was in the text, but some of it we had to make an inference or a connection with. So what I would say for this response is some of the other rabbits laughed at Leo when he walked by because he looked different from them. And sometimes, unfortunately, people make fun of people or laugh at people who don't look the same as them. And so since his ears were different, they laughed at Leo. Why do you think Leo approached the rabbits and asked them, how come you guys are always laughing at me? So this could be a couple of things. I think that Leo was confused and genuinely curious about why the other rabbits were always laughing at him as he walked by them. You could also say something that maybe he was upset or nervous around them or offended that they were always laughing at him when he walked by them and wanted to know why. He wanted to get an answer, right? Now finally it says, how do you think Leo felt once the rabbits told him they laughed because of his ears. Now, having his ears droop, I'm not sure if that's something he'd control or not. So at this point in the story. So what I'm guessing is that when the rabbits told him they were laughing at his ears drooping, Leo probably felt sad, upset, and embarrassed by his physical traits that didn't match what the other rabbits looked like in that moment. Okay, so we're going to keep reading to see what happens next with Leo the Lop. Here we go. See if we were right. Leo was sort of hurt. He really didn't feel any different than the other rabbits, but because his ears hung down instead of up, he just wasn't normal. Hmm, he thought. All I need is to exercise a little bit, and my ears will stand up just like the normal rabbit's ears. So with that in mind, he struggled and strained trying to make them stand up Unfortunately, the best he could do was to get them to stick straight out, and he could do that for only a minute. Then, no matter how hard he tried, they would flop back to the ground in two little puffs of dust. So all he could do was get them to stand straight out for just about a minute. Well, thought Leo, that didn't work. Maybe if I show my ears which way to go, they'll get the idea and go there on their own. Very carefully, he climbed the tree, and after cautiously hooking his hind legs around the branch, dangle, he dangled over upside down. Sure enough, his ears hung straight down. Leo must have hung that way for nearly an hour, when a voice made him look around. What you doing? asked the voice. Leo looked around, and right there before him, hanging from another branch, was a possum. Well, said Leo, I'm hanging upside down so my ears will learn which way they're supposed to go, so I can be a normal rabbit. What's normal? asked the possum. When I saw you on the ground, your ears looked normal. Now they look upside down. Leo thought and thought, and he didn't have an answer. We're going to read one more page, Bright Stars, then we'll stop for today. So with a flip, he dropped to the ground. Hmm, he thought. If my ears going down are normal, then the other rab rabbits with ears going up aren't normal. The more he thought about the other rabbits' ears, the funnier it became. With a laugh and a giggle, he raced off to tell them what he had discovered. Alrighty, Bright Stars. So we are going to stop there for today. Um, again, you can complete the comprehension questions both out loud and in your notebooks um, for today's lesson. See you next week.